Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am finally back with a brand new video. As you can see, we have one of the, well, one of my favorite uh, wrestling championships from the 1990s, the WCW Cruiserweight Championship. And this is one of my favorite belts. I love this thing so much. Let's get into it. So... This belt, I got from a, um, a Pakistani uh, seller on Facebook, and actually I bought it through his, I bought it through a, an American who sells his belts here in the States, so um, I forgot the individual's name, I believe it was uh, Mohammed Asif. Um, and he's a part of a belt group called MS Creations on Facebook. So I've um, reached the gentleman actually had a few belts. He did a video. He had some belts for sale. This one was at a very, very affordable price. And it's um, I could not pass up on this. This is just let's just get into the specifics of it. So as we see, um, it's a cruiserweight belt. So this belt in size and diameter is smaller than than the majority of the belts that you see me post on this channel being that this is a light heavyweight you know a cruiserweight championship belt so of course it's not going to be as large as you know the world titles tag team title belts that I have and um, you see the W I've always loved these plates on the side you know the WCW you have the um, you gotta get really close to kind of see the etching but it's a man well a wrestler putting another wrestler in a hold kind of looks like a i guess kind of a leg lock maneuver perhaps but even just this detail even just you know the look kind of reminds me of fire i guess or a flame just the etching of the plates and then just you know the vintage you know WCW logo I just love those WCW letters and even how this one is you know obscured by the wrestler um, you know the C as we can see here the um what you call these the I don't know what's the word for these the um buckles or any case but looks nice very nice leather work as you can see, and I hope my camera is giving off the best effect possible, the center plate, you have the WCW logo, World M Cruiserweight Wrestling Championship. I've always just liked that red cruiserweight throughout the globe. Always just something about that caught my eye back in the day. And we have a gold tip, which I adore. I mean, one thing about my belts, I love a belt with a gold tip. It's just, it just brings something out of it, a little pop. And if I'm, I'm not sure, if memory serves me correct, I'm not positive if the WCW, if the actual Cruiserweight belt, the real one, had a gold tip. My gut tells me that it didn't, but, you know, I can always look back at pictures and, you know, find it out pretty easy or just do a quick search on the web. Um, let's look at some of the, the real test of a belt. Um, any belt that's G1 leather is the, the floppy test. So as we can see, it passes that. You can just see the, the floppiness of the strap. So that is genuine leather. Uh, plate quality is good. I believe this is 4 millimeter zinc. So very secure feeling, very good. The belt is the um, decent as the weight I would expect it to be for a replica. And on the back, as you can see, very good leather work done. Um, the screws, um, you know, in the back are covered by a pretty good feeling coat of leather. And all in all, it looks like some very quality craftsmanship. And I tell you, I am now two for two for getting belts um, through Facebook. And when I started collecting belts, wow, back in, I believe, 20... 2011 2012 i just you know i always get my belts from you know ebay some wrestling belt websites um wb shop of course but never i would imagine i would get so many belts from facebook and these belts are you know of companies that are no, no wcw then you saw the world class championship and a lot of these facebook 
groups and Instagram groups, um, Instagram sellers, they have what I consider to be the very um, rare belts. You know, they have a lot of the wrestling belts from WCW, from um, even belts that you don't see on WWE shop. I've seen, you know, the um, WCW, you know, TV titles, and not just the one from that most remember from the Monday Night Wars era, but the one from the early 90s. I believe the version that Steve Austin held and um, the WCW light heavyweight title. They even before the cruiserweight belt, there was even a light heavyweight championship. That was a belt that they believe Brian Pillman and Jushin Liger fought over in the early 90s. And then a lot of the territory belts from just the various wrestling territories from the 80s and 70s. So just as such a big market out there. And of course, as you know, with anything, when you're buying a belt, it's a, you know, financial investment. So make sure, you know, I always ask questions, make sure that the but um, the product that I'm seeing is what I'm getting. But so far, I have been nothing but impressed. Um, we're going to just go through a little brief history lesson. Of course, the Cruiserweight title was introduced in 1996, I do believe. And the first champion, if I'm correct, was New Japan Pro Wrestling Shinjiro Otani. He won the belt in a tournament. And I believe that, I'm pretty sure that tournament was in 95. But the cruiserweight belt did not really soar off in prominence until 1996 when um, Dean Malenko and Rey Mysterio, they had their classic match, which is actually Mysterio's WCW debut at the 96 Great American Bash. And they really put the cruiserweight division on the map. And the list of wrestlers who held this belt over the really the lifespan of really for the next, you know, 96, 94, about the next four years of the company's existence or 97, 99,000, really, well, five years, roughly, give or take a few. Um, Rey Mysterio, of course, Dean Malenko, Chris Jericho, Ultimo Dragon, um, Juventus Guerrero, um, the late, great Eddie Guerrero. I mean, just so many legendary workers, great workers, Hall of Fame level workers held this championship and made it one of the most prestigious belts in all of professional wrestling. And the funny thing is about the cruiserweight division, even though, you know, the cruiserweights were, you know, not in the main events and really, you know, heavily featured compared to, you know, the NWO and Major Goldberg and, you know, stars like that. So many of the fondest matches that people look back on in WCW history involve this title. So this title is just really just has a lot of uh, historical significance for me and just, you know, and to me, this you know, Mysterio is the man who made this belt. I think when I look at the WCW Cruiserweight Champion, Rey Mysterio is the man who first comes to mind. And just so many of those awesome, you know, um, just many of the classic matches that he had in WCW, as well as all the other Cruiserweights in that division. So, and even the ones who may not have held the belt, but they definitely did their part to make that Cruiserweight division a success, like the La Parkas, the Hector Garth. Garza, Silver King, Sacope, um, Volano, I think Volano 3, you know, those guys who were just part of that incredible cruiserweight um, the psychosis, guys like that who really were the lifeblood of that cruiserweight division and making sure that WCW had the best in-ring action you could find anywhere. So... Uh, this is it. I believe I want to keep these videos a lot more briefer. I believe the world class one I did a while back was way too long and I may reshoot that and make it a little, I may redo that video just to make it a little briefer. But um, again, WCW Cruiserweight belt, great buy. I cannot, you see the thumbs up. So this definitely gives my thumbs up of approval. And again, I just hope um, you all are doing well. We're in February. This is the month of love. Valentine's Day is coming up. So just take this time out to to show love to those people in your life and once again we're still in the midst of this pandemic so just hope you all are staying safe continuing to adhere to you know the guidelines wearing your mask social distance and all those good things and just you know and just take care of each other the best i think the best advice that you know i can give is just to take care of those people around you and um and that's pretty much it so have a great rest of the day and i will talk to you again after a while